everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we will discuss one of my favorite weapons in Elden Ring, the secret bloody Hellas. And no one is using this weapon that make this strategy more unique. If you're a fan of PvP combat, then this weapon is an absolute must have for an arcane build. The Bloody Hellas is a heavy thrusting sword with unique Ash of War. When you use this skill and combo a heavy attack, your character will spin around and hit any opponent within a reasonable range multiple times. This attack can be devastating if it connects, and it's a great way to catch your opponent off guard and unprepared. But what makes the Bloody Hellas great for dual combat? Well, for starters, the spin attack is excellent for punishing opponents trying to attack you, but it is better if your opponents use a heavy attack. It's also great for breaking through shields, guard stances, and even spells. And if you're feeling cheeky, you can use the spin attack to knock your opponent off a ledge or into a danger. This Ash of War is a great way to get you out danger and enemy attacks and spells. Of course, like any weapon, the Bloody Hellas does have its drawbacks. For one, the Spin Ash of War is relatively slow and can leave you vulnerable to counterattacks, backstab, and spells. Additionally, the Bloody Hellas doesn't have the most extended range. So you need to get up close and personal with your opponent to use effectively. And parry is the most devastating ashes of war against your attacks. So, how do you use the bloody Hellas in combat? Well, one strategy is to use the Dynast Finesse as a surprise when your opponent least expects it. You combo it with three heavy attacks. Another method is to use the Dying as Finesse to bait your opponent into a counterattack. Then if you feel comfortable, do a combo with a skill with a heavy attack. In terms of combos, you can chain together the spin attack with other attacks to create devastating combinations. For example, you could use a quick jab to stagger your opponent, then follow up with a spin attack to deal massive damage. All in all, the Bloody Hellas is an excellent weapon for dual combat in Elden Ring. While it does have its drawbacks, its unique skill and combo with heavy attack make it a force to be reckoned with. And remember it, if you feel your opponent is about to parry your attacks, do not attack, and find another way to get him than your usual attacks. And never forget the most important about gaming. That is, have fun and with the most unique style and flair. Do not think about numbers or stats in the end. It is more fun to finish your opponents with no equipment. Even better when your opponent has the heaviest equipment or the fastest or the meta build that everyone copies and pastes. If you're looking for a new weapon in PvP, I highly recommend giving the Bloody Hellas a shot. Thank you a lot for watching, everyone. Let me know in the comments if you've tried the Bloody Hellas, and if so, what your thoughts are. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And please let me know if you like the AI voice and script that I create for this video. And to finish, watch this epic piece combat that ended in a draw after I was backstabbed to oblivion. And again, please like and subscribe will meant a lot to me. I will tell more about me and my journey in the future videos.